Hello, I'm Ryan Poe, and welcome to this week's edition of The One-on-One. -on -One. I'm joined here today with Tim Hodges. Thank you for coming today. You're welcome. Pleasure to be here. Uh, I understand you have a new position in the health services office. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, I was formerly the director of the counseling services, and uh, because of Ruth Sarna's retirement, I'm now the director of the health and counseling center. Okay. And what kind of different programs are y'all working with, or have y'all created any, anything new? Yeah, so uh, most of my job will be, as I have done before, just mainly counseling and supervising the grad students who also do counseling, but uh, now I'll be supervising the director of the, well, the coordinator of the Health and Counseling Center, and then also the new nurse practitioner. And so we're developing programming uh, for the spring and then for next year. Uh, a lot of things regarding sexual uh, assault awareness, sexual education, uh, things like that. That's great. And uh, how many years have, been, have you been doing this for Baker? Uh, five years at Baker. Okay. And what about Baker has, has just had you coming back and, and creating new things for us? Yeah. Well, Baker's fantastic. Uh, students like yourself. Uh, I love the students. I just love the environment. The faculty is amazing. Uh, the staff, the administration, it's just a great community to be in. And I understand uh, we have hired a new nurse are in the process of that. What can you tell me about yeah. that? Yeah, so Jody Mitchell is our new nurse practitioner and very excited to have her because she's got 17 years experience working in emergency rooms, uh, surgery, critical care. Um, so she has uh, experience in a wide variety of, of situations. So nothing that comes her way in her job at Baker will take her off guard. And so she really has a big heart for the students as well. So she has loved the Baker students that she's seen so, so far. She starts full time in her position uh, on Monday, uh, March 10th. But uh, she has a background in athletics. She played basketball in college. Uh, she's worked with a lot of the uh, Kansas ortho doctors uh, that uh, our sports medicine people are familiar with. So she has those connections as well with uh, LMH and doctors there. So really familiar with the whole health care arena in Douglas County. Right, uh, it sounds like, it sounds really exciting for Baker, this new, this new services. What's one thing you're really excited about? Well, she is so passionate. She is just so passionate for the kids, so passionate to educate them and to protect them. She just, uh, she was calling uh, us the other night about a student that he, she was concerned about she, she's just got the big heart that, that Ruth Sarna had. So it's kind of a perfect transition. Right. Well, I want to thank you for coming in today. I really do appreciate it. Well, thank you. That'll be it for this week's edition of the One-on-One. -on -One. Reporting for Orange Line, I'm Ryan Poe.